We are Gladys and Kenny. Two years ago, we left it all behind to travel to as many countries as possible, spending the last six weeks in Peru. We traveled from the coastal city of Lima all the way to Cusco, where we walked through Machu Picchu alone and climbed a 400 meter cliff to sleep on its edge. Now we are back in the US to visit family and friends. We are about to reveal something not too many people know, and that is, we live in a school bus. Oh my gosh! Home sweet I miss this place. Home. <sighs> Can you believe it? We're finally here. <sighs> it has been such a long travel day, but I'm so excited to be home. <laughs> yeah, it's it's exhausting. It's been 13 hours, two uh, two airports, two flights, landed at JFK. Now we're in our tiny house. So guess what? We're getting ready right for bed. Yes. Good night, guys, and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, morning guys you know as tired as we were last night because we had a long travel day we couldn't help ourselves but to move our tiny home down to the beach oh my gosh we miss doing this so much we sure did and, and we just we couldn't resist woke up to the most beautiful sunrise. sunrise yeah we just laid in bed we enjoyed it then we went for a walk along the beach oh my gosh we missed it so much it's you know crazy. what it's actually the perfect way to start our stay here in the states yeah absolutely yeah good start for me well a better start for me would be breakfast so. <laughs> yes he's just sitting around here waiting for me to make breakfast because he is forever hungry yeah so after breakfast we'll be giving you a tour of our beautiful tiny home on wheels <laughs> so sit tight and join us food first yay <laughs> Guys, cool breezes. As we promised, we're gonna give you a tour of our tiny house on wheels. This is our home. Welcome home. Time to show you guys around. So welcome to the cockpit. This, my friends, is where I live most of the time, especially when we're driving, right? So let's start here. These are actually 
extra storage. Hooks for your keys. I have a headlamp to go out at night. The uh, house keys. We have installed outlets on both ends just in case we need to charge something while I'm driving up here. These are crazy. Jamming vibes while I'm driving. They're Bluetooth. I just connect them to my phone and we are on the highway jamming. Just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> So, this, my friends, is my cubby hole while I'm driving. It was built specifically for me. Thank you, Frank. These are the original fans to the school bus. You know, when you're driving with a diesel engine, it gets pretty warm up here. But with these going, you get a constant breeze that keeps you just sane enough to make it on a four, five hour trek. My rear view camera stays on constantly so I always have an idea of what's going on directly behind the bus this my friends turns around and becomes part of the living room it has a seat belt it actually locks in when I'm facing forward and uh, I can't say enough about this thing this is very comfortable I love it it's soft it's cool it's it's not leather so you're not sweating in the summer it's, it's just I can't say enough about this all right so now on to the living area I'm gonna start with this little hand wrist right here it's actually a cup holder and storage we keep little knickknacks in there mostly Gladys's stuff the sofa is actually a sofa bed so it extends to a full size and can be extended even further to a king size bed we keep the cushions in the back in the storage area and uh, this is where we chill all day watching television we pull out our ottoman which we can just relax and watch Netflix and chill storage check this out two big drawers uh, they're really just that built into it they actually just slide on the floor they have felt underneath so and I gotta tell you when I'm driving it's very rare that these things actually slide out if they do it's by a couple of inches or so so we have two of them we store some of Gladys's stuff in this one and we store some of Gladys's stuff in this one she has everything guys I don't know what to say so on to the dining area we have these two great chairs. What I love about them is that just like the captain's chair, they swing, right? So there's no need to shuffle them back and forth. They swing right into place. We eat, we work on the computers. Uh, you know, they're very comfortable. This table actually falls down and out of the way. It falls flush against the wall. There's a mechanism under here that releases and it drops. The television actually has two positions. This is the primary position, it's down so we can watch television. The secondary is that it folds up to the ceiling and it's out of the way so we have access to this window. Just in case there is a, a beautiful view out there, maybe a lake, let in more breeze, it's awesome. Overhead we have a Dometic, Dometic air condition unit. So I think I covered everything here from the cockpit back. Um, And welcome to my kitchen. What I love most about it, it is that it's very spacious, has lots of counter space, an abundance of storage, and I love the functionality. Let's start with the cabinets. In this cabinet here, I store the coffee mugs, plates, bowls, napkins, and everything else that I can fit in there. And in this cabinet over here is our toiletry cabinet. Here I store toothbrushes, toothpaste, face wash, our mirror and everything else that we need to put in there and then this one is our supplement cabinet and um, other knickknacks and down here below it's our pots and pan and over here is our garbage can and cleaning supplies also like I mentioned the counter space I love it it's enough if I'm chopping some food here some vegetables I can have stuff frying over here I just 
love love again like I said the functionality of it also I just want to show you before I forget this is the only space on the bus that actually has blinds and they go up and down so easily um, let's get back to this side and over here this drawer is our utensil drawers we have nice forks our scissors can opener and a bunch of other knickknacks and these two cabinets here is our pantry cabinet where we store all our food that's right we have a four burner stove that runs on propane and it actually has a real oven so if you come to visit I can bake you some cookies sometimes we store some pots in here and oh I want to show you these beautiful lamps that we have it looks so beautiful at night I love it and we have a full-size refrigerator which is important because I don't like to cook every day so I can cook once every other day and make extra food and store it and Kenny can have the leftovers the next day. So it's important that the stove had enough space for me to store the leftovers. And yes, we have a microwave and it does work. I was going to say that I only use it when we plugged in, but I actually use it while we're off grid and um, it doesn't pull too much power, surprisingly so. Um, again i love this kitchen it's very functional and spacious i actually have one of my girlfriends here we were cooking together she's on one end i'm on the other end and um there's nothing more that i need except for this tiny little kitchen take a peek at our toilet so as you enter the hallway what i think is pretty cool is this latch holds the door shut it's a little squeaky we need to put some oil and our beautiful map here that i love we have a composting toilet by nature's head and i have to say we are 100 percent satisfied with it in addition to that we have a toilet paper holder we also have a hook here with the bag that holds our extra toilet tissue Kenny installed these baskets for me so we can store some knickknacks such as wipes, hand sanitizer, some refreshener in here. And um, what happens at night when you can't see? Gotta turn on the light. <laughs> so we turn on the light and once I'm sitting here, I have a map here and I get to plan most of our trips while I'm sitting here. Don't tell Kenny that, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so that's our toilet. This is our shower in here. As you can see, we have another latch here that keeps the door closed. And I love this door. Look at the amount of storage that I have. This is normally like full of product, but we arrived home and Kenny just wanted to purge everything. So again, like I said, this is for our, our knickknacks, cream, lotions, everything like that. Let's check out the best part of the shower. That's right, subway tiles. I love this. <laughs> it's spacious. You can check out the shower head, shower. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> we have this storage space here for our shampoo. We do have hot water and cold water, which I love. And it's it's very spacious in here, guys. Actually, Kenny and I do fit in here. And um, we have a little ledge here that I can actually put my foot on that I can shave my legs. And we also have two hooks here that we can put this and some towels. And, and that's it. All right, so normally we have a rug here, bathroom rug, so that when we step out, we step onto the rug. I normally hang my towel here, and um, it also gives me privacy from the front of the bus. So Kenny's hanging out in the front, I'm showering, doing my thing, lotioning up, and just, just getting ready for bed or going out. All right, let's check out the bedroom, which starts right here with this ginormous closet. 
huge closet with a full length mirror. This is where we keep extra towels, blankets, trinkets, junk. <laughs> we close it away and it's all gone. Come on back. This is a full, actually a queen size bed. It is so comfortable. Glad has got her corner. I've got the end of it. And let me tell you, sleeping here is, it's like being a kid again. When you close all the curtains, sometimes the hatches are open, you feel like a kid, you're looking up at the stars. It's just awesome, it really is. Especially when it's raining and you can hear the rain just beating on the metal roof. Oh my gosh, I slip right into a coma. It's awesome. So above the bed, we have a Gladys. Uh, Gladys has her cubby hole. We share this one. And this one is all mine. And of course, little area that we have our stuff displayed. These curtains, you know, these I think are the best. The curtains are on, on tension rods, so we can move them up. We can move them up halfway, all the way, and out of the way. This door, well, not the door really. This is uh, this curtain separates the rest of the bus and the bedroom from our storage area. It's like a shed. Back there we have our propane tanks, batteries, etc., etc. I'll show it to you in a few. Air condition. If we're sleeping, we'll turn on the one in the front, and it'll be nice and just cozy enough to snuggle up. And you feel like it's like fall weather, but not fall weather. You know? It's just weird, but that's how it is we also have a 32 inch tv i don't know you can actually see it sticking out here we uh if it's bedtime and we just want to just chill and not stay up front we just come back here watch a movie until we fall asleep so oh almost forgot where do we put our clothes here we go we have four huge drawers under the bed so these two are gladys's and these two are mine they come out, I mean, they're really deep, guys. They come all the way out here. That's, and it's divided in half. All right, so, this is the garage. Come on in, guys. This monster over here is my 4,000 watt, 12 volt, inverter charger runs the bus all the wiring for my solar panels this is a transfer switch so when we go to like an RV park or someone's home and we plug in it automatically switches from solar to the grid my fuse box I have a power surge protector and this it's like I guess the heart of the bus six Battleborn uh, 100 amp lithium batteries. I love these things because prior to that, we were trying to run the bus on these two very large AGM batteries and it just wasn't cutting it because uh, during the night, the inverter would start beeping because of low uh, voltage, amperage, whatever. So we decided to upgrade to the lithiums. Right now, these are going to my father-in-law's as a gift, he can do whatever he wants with them. So enjoy, Frank. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we have extra storage back here. We have um, Gladys's yoga, yoga mat. We have uh, just extra stuff. We have an extra water pump in the event that we do need it. Uh, of course, we use back here for extra storage, for shoes and stuff. We have an uh, electric heater and a propane heater. Uh, that we very rarely ever use because uh, basically we're chasing sun, right? So, um, and with that, all right. So, as you can see, I installed these hooks just to like hang coats. This is my rain gear, a uh, couple of shirts that I never wear. But um, that is this extra stuff. Our two 30 pound propane tanks. This line running across here, this is what we use to throw our wet towels on when we finish taking a shower and they dry up pretty nicely back here because it's usually slightly warmer back here than it is in the rest of the bus. Um, there's a light switch back here also. And I think that's it for the garage, guys. That's it. It's 
not my favorite place, but it's the most important place on the bus. All right, guys, now let's talk about outside. This is for storage, both of these. They also turn into like a grilling station. So I planted these hooks here and I'll use like uh, chains to lift these up and they'll stand out. I'll show you that in a second. And that's our grilling station. We open this up, both sides will grill. And we have a table for plates, condiments, everything here. And that's it. Now, this way, this is where we plug in for water. Well, not plug in, but we connect our hose that uh, bypasses the water pump and we have water running right off the water supply that we plugged into. This is our hot water heater. It's run on propane, the exhaust, 65 gallon water tank mounted underneath. These are the uh, screens I made. They are removable. If we need to, we just unscrew. I haven't had the need to do that yet, but uh, that's it. This is where we plug in when we go to RV parks or to a house. You can still plug in. Our home is a Freightliner, Thomas built school bus. Uh, it has a Caterpillar diesel engine. Um, it's a 2003, it has about 181,000 miles right now. It's been treating us fabulous. No breakdowns, smooth running, starts up every time. Um, what can I say? the best house on the planet.